Um, I've got the pinch tool selected. And let's see here, opacity's pretty good. Speed's good. I'm just gonna click, 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 click. Let's, let me turn off the mesh. Oops, show mesh was on, but it didn't need to be, okay. Click, 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 click. Okay, I'm just gonna click and hold. It's growing ever so slightly. Let's bring the speed. Oh, show opacity up on this, not speed. There we go, there's, it's getting bigger. I'm gonna take the whole brush bigger so it's not, oop, not that big. So it's not just the eye, there we go. There we're getting some good effect in there. Now, okay, let's do this. Let's bring the whole eye bigger, but then I wanna take the iris smaller, like the iris is ridiculous. So let's go reverse this and let's take the size down. So a little bit more, I, what I wanna do, ooh, you know what, we're gonna take advantage of the freezing, ha ha. Let's get crazy about this. I want to, zoom in a little bit bigger. I'm going to freeze, oh, didn't mean to undo. I want to freeze the outer edge here because I want to make sure that I do not distort the uh, the outside edge of the, uh, what do you call that part of the eye? Retin, pupil? Wait, no, that's the retina. No, wait, which? Damn it, I'm not a doctor, Jim. Uh, let's, let's freeze that in. There we go. Okay, so that's frozen. So that's nicely protected. Now I can take my pinch tool. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And bring that down. Ooh. In fact, let me undo that. Make this bigger even still. So it's covering the whole thing. Well, now that'll affect... That's going to affect the outside area, isn't it? It hardly hasn't. Oh, but it kind of pulled in some of that black. If I keep going... That's interesting, it pulled in. Oh, it's pulling in from the outside because my brush is so big. Okay, let's break this smaller and do that. And if I just keep holding, keep holding it, right, it's not pulling, well, it is pulling in something. But I mean, clearly I've gone like into crazy land here. But all right, so what I wanna do, I'm gonna make this progressively smaller so that I am making that pupil, I think that's right, the black part, really small and apparently slitted because I've moved it up and down. And now we definitely, I think it's safe to say, we definitely now have a crazy chicken. Um, <laughs> we're totally changing the animal. That's kind of cool. I mean, obviously it's ridiculous, but it's kind of cool. Okay, now let's make his beak longer. Now I kind of cheated here because I picked an image that was easy, the background's you know, totally out of focus, but you know, you pick your battles with these things. You, you do what you think is gonna work. He wouldn't necessarily do this if there was a bunch of trees behind it and without having a, to do a whole lot of extra work. I think masking and, but you know, hey, here's, this is fair. Let's just say, oop, wrong one. Let's just say that you wanted to make that beak longer, which we're about to do, which I think is gonna be pretty straightforward, but you had a really complicated background, right? And you could protect the background as I will go in, well, I'm gonna try just brushing it and then I'll try freezing parts of it if it's needed. Um, but if you had this really complicated background, you could try freezing that, but what might be even easier is to kind of do it in layers. So go ahead and distort out that beak and, and let the background get distorted with it and then bring an original version, an unliquefied version on top of it and mask that between so that the beak got bigger, but the trees behind it weren't affected because they haven't been distorted. That's how I would do it, but I, I don't have that problem here, but I'm still going to play with this. So let's make the beak bigger. Let's just grab the good old push tool. Let's make the brush size a little bit bigger. I'm, I'm convinced there's got to be a way to make this brush size bigger without, see that's zooming. That's not what I want. Um, panning and panning. So bra oh, now the bracket works. Well, okay, why didn't that work earlier? All right. So the bracket keys should be working. That's, um, that's, you know, uh, these keys, right? These bracket keys. That should be working. I'm not using this keyboard. This is let's see the keyboard. But um, it, I don't know why it wasn't earlier. But that's what it's supposed to do. Why it didn't? Ooh, annoying. Anyway, let's go back to this. So we've got that. Let's make that brush a little bit smaller. I probably want to stay bigger than the beak. That's going to be my guess. Well, that's way too much. So let's take the opacity way down on that. There we go. And I think. I mean, you can, so I can bring the tip out like so, start from the back. If you feel like it's too much, still a little bit too much, bring the opacity down some more. Opacity is a weird word to be using here, I think, but there we go. Oh no, here's an interesting thing. I'm wondering, pull some of this down a little bit. I'm wondering, so you see I've distorted the shape of his uh, nose hole. We're gonna call it a nostril for lack of a better term. I'm clearly. You've just watched a five minute sample of a live training video. 
To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash members. <laughs>